Welcome to this quick little introduction to how to get child accounts to show up in a related list on an account or for any record you're needing to do this with. Now, a few quick things to note. The parent account field has been changed to branch of. So anytime you see branch of, make sure you consider that the API may be parent ID, which is parent account. We changed that label. But the use case for this is our client wanted an account to be able to have many child accounts that are branches. So essentially an account has multiple branches and a branch has an account that it's associated with. But because Salesforce doesn't allow for the functionality to show this related list right here, we had to do a workaround. Now looking at the uh, fields and relationships for the account, you can see that we added a field called branch of with the API branch underscore of underscore underscore C that looks up to the account. And then we also changed the parent account field to be branch of, and that's because the page layout does not allow it to be removed. So we ultimately have this one, the original one showing the hierarchy field, but we have the lookup account there um, to be able to create this functionality. So we told it essentially just to be a lookup to the account, called it branch of, but how are we going to get that field to be populated with essentially the parent account, which is going to be something that the user inputs. We had to create a flow that does this. So when we look at this flow, we have a trigger off of an account. When an account record is created or updated, and the parent ID is changed or is not null, and that makes it to where you can both remove a branch or add a branch or create an account with a branch or create a branch with an account that's associated to it. So anytime those conditions are met, we're going to update the record to have the branch of field contain the value of the parent account, which is labeled branch of, but you can see that here, the parent ID. And we can see that right here. If I jump into this child account and I remove the parent account from here, um, and then jump back into that parent account. You can see it's not associated with it anymore. But, if we jump in here and relate it back to the parent account, we can see that it's now associated with it again. And so then once we have that relation all set up, all we have to do is come into edit page. And we can add this related list single. Just add another one real quick. And we'll just set that to branches, which is what we named the field to be the related list called, because you can name a field and then you can name the related list associated with it. So we um, told the related list to be called branches and now it'll show up with all of those child accounts. And something to add to that is for list views, it was very simple to go in here and to create an all branches list view, which essentially there are a couple things that we did, but we created record types for each. We created an account record type and a branch record type. So now upon creation, they'll receive their own record type and then we filter on those so we can see all branches here and then we can see all accounts here. And then for every 
quote unquote account object, we have all entities. 